a little bit further. Ow. Roar had to look away for most of the God of War 3. Yes. I can't believe Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Fjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Weird. Once Fjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted beneath his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, Freya agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted her so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Oh, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Uh-oh. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. Uh-oh. With great power comes res great responsibility. Yes, Ventura says, Frigg is Odin's wife in myth, but her name was apparently Freya in Germany, which would be identical with Freya. You forgot the head was still in the canoe? I was wondering what happened to Kratos' voice. Yeah, the head's right next to the boy. Flagante Kratos is that a boy. Yes, he is. Indeed. Indeed. All right, new boat dock found. All right, here we go. Let's enter the mines. And they called it a mine. All right, can we get back to the dwarf right here? The bug of war. Upsie daisy. What is this? Is this a treasure? All right, not a special one. Hey, Alaska, what's up? Am I totes ready for the big reveal tomorrow? Tomorrow we're going to revealing what our stream theme for May is. Am I totally ready? All the ideas are ready. The execution is why I'm stopping the stream in an hour. I need a lot of time tonight. I'm going to be working a lot tonight to get everything ready. But yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool stuff tomorrow, gang. I promise. <laughs> Boy. Suicide run. Isn't Odin going to be mad when he goes to torture that guy and notices his head is missing? Yes. I think he's going to be very mad and he's going to come after ah! us. He's going to come after us. Absolutely. Oh, hmm. uh, you listened to my uh, the Patreon behind the scenes video on uh, their way to work? Yesterday it was it was a thirty minute long one, right? It's pretty good for a, a commute, huh? Yeah. yeah, if anybody uh, is supports on Patreon at the Wizard Otter level, don't forget to check your Patreon feed today. I posted the behind the scene video for April uh, last night. Wonder who wrote this? I did. I wrote it. Anvari's invention. Okay. 
Through this path lies the mines of Volunder. This great endeavor was made possible by Anvari the Alchemist, son of Avaldi, through whose ingenuity the very stone and bedrock was turned from obstacle to mighty tool of industry. A dwarven miner's greatest fear has always been running afoul of the ancients, but through Anvari's genius, they are now no more than tools in our righteous undertaking. A new age for the dwarves dawns here. No mere miners, but masters of iron, whose greatest craft is the future itself. Sounds dangerous. Save! Alright, give me a... Let me see, when are we going to save it? I can save it... Here. Yes. Confirm. Here we go, doing a side crab walk. Crab walk, crab walk, sachet. You scare up that alchemist what needed finding? We're on our way to do that. Why? If you're so close to him in here, why didn't you do it? Oh, almost forgot. Brock, this is our new friend, Mimir. We've, We've met. met. Oh, why didn't you say so? He, he knows, knows why. why. I know why. You know you why. Know why. Quiet. No more of this. You <laughs> know what? Sorry I brought it up. <laughs> I'm not. I want him to talk more about it. <laughs> Can't you and Sindri just patch things up? Whatever happened couldn't be all that bad. You're family. Now don't be lecturing me about family. I ain't the one what forgot what our name stood for. What we made, the weapons we made were legendary across nine realms for more years than I can count. You just don't throw that away on account of one bad... One bad what? One bad what? You're one bad nothing. Ain't you got somewhere to be? I want these two brothers to be friends too. Let's get to it. Let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns. Alright. Artifact. We have one more artifact. Another you got a fine deal there. Yeah. Did we craft anything new yet? No, not really. Let's hey, nobody's twisting your arm. Let's go get some more uh, ancients. Kill more ancients. Get more treasure. Read it. Yes, sir. Uh, these runes read death inside. Uh, great. This must be old. There's plenty of death outside, too. That's a good point. I like his optimism. Find a dwarf with a green ring. All right, here we go. So, Brock said his friend was dwarven like him, wearing a green ring. Look if you wish. I will be gathering resources for our journey. You don't want to help him? No. Why not? Because I do not run errands for dwarves. Oh. Let's blow it up, see what happens. The kid was awful close to that. Dwarven, but no ring. One of his crew? Scorch marks. There, along the floor and wall. Weird. I guess we keep looking. We? I mean, I'll keep looking. That's right. I'm not doing anything but collecting resources for our journey, like this. Ooh, world Serpent Scale Fragments. What's up, Yiggles? Maybe we should just leave the death inside? Why is the blacksmith a blue dwarf, Neo Satura says. Alright, according to his brother, and we don't know if this is 100% true, it's because he has... Uh, handled tons of raw silver, I think, with his bare hands. And apparently that's bad to do. But this is coming from his dwarven brother who is germaphobic and always wears gloves. 
So I don't know if that's really the reason or not, but that's what that's what how it was explained. guy down there. That's a soul leader. If that kills us, that's it. No Valhalla, no hell, no afterlife, ever. Kid knows what a soul leader does is. not attack. Woohoo! We got ourselves no a new honor. Welcome to the that. swamp. Then do not drop your guard. I'm gonna Come. watch out for that thing. Wow, okay. Mamir had nothing to say about that. Oh my gosh, Adroti has just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. Enjoy all your sub perks for the next month. And I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. Thank you so much. Hype and love in the chat for our newest subscriber. By the way, that makes that means we're one more new or gifted sub already. Uh, oh, one more new or gifted sub away from doing a Game Vault giveaway. There we go. I've been loved. Yeah, one more. Long time lurker here. Oh, awesome. It's good to finally uh, say hi to you. I appreciate it, man. Stray Sheep says the condition is called Argyria and it exists in the real world. Oh, you can actually, your skin can actually turn blue from handling raw silver, huh? I didn't know that. Hey, Cuddly Shark. It's going well. Let's go this way first. Earns. Earns. What's this? You love all readies? Yeah. Ooh. Maybe I should have saved that. Nice bomb trap. Broke us up, boy. Nightmares, huh? What awful thing. Oh, I love it. Mimir's now commenting. Very good. World Serpent Scales. Some more hack silver. Isn't this the very beginning area? No. Now we're in the mo we're in the I forget what they're called the Valander Mines. What are they called? We are uh, the Valander Mines. This is a side quest that the dwarf gave us, and but we've never been here. Not him. Hey, I thought you didn't care. I noticed the lack of ring while looting the body. Oh. <laughs> We don't care whether or not we care. Alright, so how do we get the boy up here? Boy. Get up there. It's funny, we could totally throw the boy up there. I know I could. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, gotcha. Oh, it scared me. I'm the one that hit the button. It still scared me. Uh, 
All right, looks like there's a tunnel back there. So that's probably how we go. Throw too hard, he'll end up as a splat in the ceiling. That's true. Kratos can be gentle when he wants to. Are those normal crows or Odin crows? No ring. We're not gonna find Brock's friend alive, are we? No. I'm behind! I hear those stupid crows. Ravens. What's this? Here. Boy. Read this. Sir. Map, map fragment. Another map. Bet we'll find something useful here. Treasure map. The troll. Oh, we know where that is, too. The troll who killed my kin is slain, but the battle has taken its toll. I buried whatever I have left near his corpse. Ingrid and I used to frequent this beach to watch the sunrise over the temple. So we know I know exactly where that is. We were just there. Do these treasures not show up unless you have the map? Probably the case. Yes, I'd imagine that's how it works. Hi. Salute. Is that a chest up there? Well, we can. One of three seals. All right. Well, that was an inadvertent one. You need the map for them to show up? Okay, I gotcha. Ah, uh, I gotcha. It makes uh, it's not surprising. Not surprising. All right, let's go over this way. So we can go up over there. Here's the other. Here's the next one. <laughs> Two. Two seals. We're gonna fight stuff here. Oh, there he is. And there it is. There's the third. Can I... Oh, I can't get through it. I'm scared to go in there, though. Do we really want to go in there? This way we've been we've been to before. Did we we're up here, right? I don't know. No, 
maybe not. Welcome back, Calcius. Alright, we never crossed. Oh, we can't go over there because we get the end. So, right, I think we're stuck here. We actually have to go and possibly fight that guy. Let's go. I'm a god of war. I'm scared. It's true. Here's the ring on that severed hand attached to the soul eater. Oh, it's on top of him. Well, we know what happened to Invari now. We can just go tell Brock. No need to fight it, right? No, we will fight it. But why? Because you are frightened of it. Oh, interesting. I like that. Like, he's not interested in helping the dwarf, but he now sees a lesson that his son needs to learn, right? We need to fight that because you're scared of it. He's scared of it because if you get killed by it... There's no, no Valhalla. No afterlife. Nightmares inside of him now. Oh, did I just blow up all the things? That was good, right? I see improvement. I can see improvement now. The nightmare's gone. I can see Atreus getting stronger every day. I like getting advice from the head mounted to my butt. It's gonna be a bright, bright, bright Kratos shiny happy day. Be strong, Atreus. Stay focused and look for a weak point. Yes, sir. If he doesn't say good job, boy, by the end of this game, rage! He's getting closer. He's getting closer. Hi. Well, how shall we initiate combat with it? Maybe blowing up this. That didn't hurt him at all. Okay. Maybe we'll jump down. Stay quiet. Make no sudden movement. one of these before we have to get our axe in there and then he gets takes one of these walls out and then we can hit him with that that wasn't so good Missed? 
I threw it over his head? Are you kidding me right now? Get him! Get him! Get him! And here we go. I heal a little bit, right? Man, I am very low health. Boy. Boy. I need healing. Stronger than you know. Job boy. You, Woo! They look almost exactly like angels, but there's something off about them. Mom always called them soul eaters, dangerous abominations. She never said a bad word about any living creature, even poisonous bugs. So her saying that always stuck with me. I wish I could tell her father. Uh, I wish I could tell her father and I killed one. Let's see if that's the alchemist ring. What we got Alch ring, ring. Dwarvish inscription. Belonging to Brock's friends. Well, where's the rest of him? Ashes, most likely. The Soul Eater got him. I guess we should bring this back to Brock. Are you Genji now? Oh, because I was asking for healing. <laughs> what do we got? Fire Sigil of Protection. Healing. What's this? Fury of the Ice Troll. Uh, let's look at this. That looks pretty cool. We're doing the Nord Tempest. That's the Whirlwind. Let's try it. Why not? Fury of the Ice Troll. And if we like it, we can upgrade it. Big bada boom. We actually made pretty quick work of him. I mean, he almost, we almost died, but it wasn't like that other ancient. It just took us so, so long. But I guess then again, we had to figure out how to fight that. Where's this guy? We already knew the strat. What is this? It's nothing. Nothing of consequence. Protection from fire after we defeat the fire guy. Makes sense. That's, that's an old Dungeon Master's trick. Right? You get all the equipment you need to beat the thing that you just beat right after you beat him. You know? Like, you'll find the arrows of giant slaying after you defeat the giants. Can you read it? Can you yes, read sir. it? These runes were written fast. It spells out... 
Gimsteni. If this is a message from Anvari, what did he mean? Is it something about the ring we found on his hand? Let's ask Brock. He James Staney. Hmm. Jim I don't Staney. know that one. We will ask the blue one. So now you're interested? We found his alchemist. A reward was promised. Let's, uh... Why don't we just ask our butthead? <laughs> our butthead supposedly knows every language. <laughs> Hi! Oh, I killed myself with the shockwave. Resurrection stone. Get him, kid. Broccoli! Yes! I felt that one, brother. Oh. What was that stuff hitting this crystal over here? Where did you find the plus five rear ender in D&D then? Giggity. I never found it. That's why I had to start streaming. Because I'm searching for a game that has a plus five rear ender in it. One day. One day we'll find it. One day we'll find it. The plus five rear ender for lovers and dreamers and me. Okay, so we sailed down here from there. We can go up there. Anywhere else? <laughs> so we can't get up there. Can't get up there. No. Okay. It's the Muppet Show with our very special 17 month resub. Yay! Wow, how weird Hi is that? Dog, so glad to be in order this long. Hope you are well. Less than three, you're at our peachy moon. Thank you, Eternal Peachy Moon. That was so funny. I was literally just doing a Kermit the Frog song parody. And you subbed with the exact sub that that triggered the Kermit the Frog. That's so funny. Thank you so much. Hype and love in the chat. Guys, we're going to be ha uh, wrapping up the stream in a half hour. I have to go a little bit early today. Uh, but if we get one more newer gifted sub, we'll do a Game Vault giveaway. We'll hit our goal. 30 more minutes. Piggy. Oh, Kirby. It's not easy being green. <laughs> yes. Oh, hi. Go. I'm not ready. Here we go. Destroy the things. You did time that perfectly. Yeah, I saw that cartoon sales. That's funny. Hey, morning, Rylar. Because we can't break any of those. All right, now we're back to where we were. Kid. All right, we didn't miss anything, right? 
think we got everything. Let's go see what Brock says about it. There should be a portal. That brings us right to him. Actually, we don't even need that. Isn't he, like, right out here in the dungeon? He's right here. What'd you find? We found it, man. You're an alchemist. I'm sorry, Brock. The hand is all we could find. Still wearing the ring. There was a soul eater inside. And, well, he must have burned away the rest of him. Suppose you'll still be wanting some compensation, huh? Naturally. Naturally, he says. Yanni for Uxy. The grip of a lunder. I'll take a closer look at this here ring. All right, hold on. Let's look at this first. Very low part perk activation chance to grant protective barrier, preventing damage from enemy attacks on any successful axe hit. Okay. So this one has a high perk activation and giving us a gift of strength but you know what this seems this seems pretty nice let's grab it it's got strength six defense six it sparkles look we got a sparkling effect on the end of our axe so that's how you know it's good i don't know can we even upgrade that maybe maybe Anthari left a bit of magic inside for he croaked dwarves can do that Sure, dwarves and magic jewels is like flies and pig lips. Supple. Oh, I'm not as interested as I thought. <laughs> if you go to the map on the right side, it tells you if you're missing anything. Oh, undiscovered one thing. Completion 87%. Ah, okay. So we just, I, I, I did not discover one thing, that means. What'll it be? Let's see if we can upgrade this. 4,245 World Serpent Fragments. I don't know if upgrading these is really worth the resources. I mean, it gives you just a couple of stats. Really not tons. I don't know. Waste armor. Craft. New wrist armor. What do we have on? 18 defense. Gauntlets of the ancients. Oh, we still don't have enough ancient rubble. Rubble, rubble. Yeah, next time. Next time. So there's one thing I didn't discover in here. What is luck? Luck is like, uh, let's see. Luck is increases perk activation chance, increases XP and hex silver gains. You get more experience, more silver, and your chance to proc your special effects uh, is increased. Like, I don't even know what I'm looking for, though, when it says I missed one thing. I wish uh, Bjorn didn't tell me about that. Now it's going to drive me crazy. No, you missed one thing. Something you missed. Did I miss a raven? Yeah, I can hear it. I just don't know where it is. There they are, floating away. There's got to be a green one somewhere. If that's what I missed, I don't really care. Is that it out there? No, is it just going to go away? Yeah, I'm not going to get all the ravens. Just, oh, there's no like 60 ravens you need. Yeah, I don't care enough about that. Fifty-one. You did this today, so you're pretty sure it's ravens.
Ravens. Why did it have to be Ravens? Yeah. Alright. We'll head out. Yeah. Well, I actually can't go that way. I forgot. I guess if you don't find it, it'll leave you raving. No. I actually, um, like, I want to explore a lot of the game, but I don't, uh, I don't need to get 100% or anything like that. That's not something I'm trying for. So. And when I saw that the... The, the raven killing required, like, 50-something one of them. I'm not going to be able to find either. I don't need to do that then. Interesting that there's this counter weight here. I wonder. Can we get that to fall? Can we get this to fall somehow? why I would want to. No, I guess not. Then again, maybe not. There's one up there. I missed it. Missed. Flying off. Quote the Bog Raven nevermore. Called it a mine. Huh. Climb up, then out. Whoa, did I just go in a circle? What did I just do? Anyway. I thought I was already past him, but I think I maybe not. Really good shot of the butt head as we do this. Squeeze. Come, boy. Now we got just a little bit of time before uh, we're gonna wrap up for the day. So let's uh, see if we can tie up some, let's just do some exploring here. I know we can go get that treasure from the, uh, the giant right around the corner here. How is life with the head on your butt going? It's going well, okay. it's going well. Obviously the marriage to Odin didn't last, but how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. 
she stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than his. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities, and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Worse still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even she to defend fight. herself. Oh my god. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Wow. Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. Aye, lad. So would I. Oh, that's sad. He regrets it. She can't defend herself. Bjorn says there's a YouTube video somewhere counted. How many times in the game? He, Kratos says, boy. That's funny. Hey, I'll find a shelf. Hope you're having a great day. Alright, so it should be right over here somewhere. The treasure. Here it is. Oblivion stone. Alright. Another oblivion stone. Upgrade pommels. Inscribed crest of shadows. Alright, that's two treasure maps done. We know where this one is, too. Let's go get that one. This one is the only one I haven't recognized yet. I always forget to run this stuff over. these with the boat on top. Where's the dock with the boat on top? All the docks with the boat on top say way away oh way away oh. Oh it's over here. Isle of Death. Cheery place, that. Indeed. Boxing with bangle songs now? Of course. I love the bangles. The mirror. There was a shrine about a giant lady with lots of books and, and visions. Ah, that would be Gloa, the knowledge keeper. She was a gifted sorceress who gathered every tome of arcane wisdom she could find in the realms, all in the hopes of augmenting her powers of prophecy that she might find her lost husband, Arvandil. But it was not her husband she would glimpse in her visions, for it was Groa, seeing longer and farther than any before or since, who witnessed Ragnarok, the end and the beginning. When Odin caught word of her ultimate prophecy, he maneuvered to obtain her knowledge and hoard it for himself. Groa knew Odin as a long-time patron of her services, hmm. and so she welcomed him into her library as a friend. Uh oh. What she did not know is that Odin himself was behind her husband's disappearance. Damn. Having used his enchantments to conceal his death at Thor's hands from her sight. Smiling, jealous Odin took her by the throat, and with his very hands he stole her library and her life for his own. I always knew Odin was bad, but that's just... Ruthless, barbaric, heartless? 
that. Oops. She trusted Odin as a friend. Bad idea. They're really making Odin out to be uh, a bad guy in this, huh? It's Odin. In fact, we would do well to sit here in silence for the next few moments and reflect on Odin's capacity for cruelty. This isn't where I'm I wanted to go. Longer. Ah, he tried to talk. He said reflect longer. I actually haven't been up here. This isn't where I wanted to go, but we'll try it out. Okay, new location found. There's the Island of the Dead that I wanted, right? What is that one? Helheim Tower, Affelheim Tower. Forgotten Caves, Isle of Death. Oh, okay, it's nearby. Ooh, good find. Oh, another abandoned ship. Abandoned ship! What's this Here's say? braziers. A symbol of the light that binds all realms together. Why would he use those strange runes, though? Now you mention it, he wouldn't. Huh. huh. So Tyr didn't do that? What about this one? Hmm. This needs a different cipher than the one we have. Okay. This is what happens when you wander in and out of a game like this. Do we know the identity of the disembodied voice talking? It's, yes, it's the it's the butt head. Look on look on Kratos's butt. He's got a dangling head there. That is Mimir. The smartest the smartest man in the world. He knows like everything. And he was captured inside of a gnarled tree, tortured every day by Odin. And he begged us to sever his head. And uh, take him with us. And we were able to use the witch to revive his head. And now he's helping us. <gasps> Alright. Um, I'm going to save it and try to do this rift. We'll see what happens. These could be, these could be a little uh, challenging, so to speak. He, uh, no, we've been calling him our butthead. He is my little butthead, Brylar. Indeed. Uh oh, he's purple. This is gonna be bad, isn't it? These guys will one shot me. Sorry, Ready and wait. Nope. If I get hit by one of those red shots, I think I'm dead. Okay, go. Good. I know, and you don't look too good either, so shush. I'm trying to concentrate. I can't get 
Oh my god! Did he summon the crows yet? Thank you! Ooh, he healed me a little. There we go. Where's the other guy? Alright, he's over there. Perfect. No, no. Run one. I'm ready. No! Father! Father! Son of a switch. I had that. I had that. We got this. We could do this. We could do this one. We could do it. We're going to end the stream with this. We got this. Tears, braziers. A symbol of the light that binds all realms together. Why would he use those strange runes, though? Now you mention it. It wouldn't. He wouldn't. <laughs> hey, PG, what's up? All right. These rifts are super, super tough. We found a couple of these that we were able to beat. A couple of these that just one shot were dead. Um, here, we'll try it again. Let's see if we can do it. He said, nice shot. I think the kid was actually complimented. Oh, man. Damn. I love that Bach giggles when he's on the fly like that, I swear. It gets so spicy and uh, butt-clenchy. Let's 
get our treasure. What do we get? Dust of the realms. All we are is dust of the realms. And hack silver. How many closed realms is that? Is that three? Three or five. All right, so we get 2,500 experience when we do two more of them. Clear out enemies. Huh. Hmm. This needs a different cipher than the one we have. All right, so we can't can't look at what that is. All right, so this is I, I want to get that last treasure chest and then we'll wrap up for the day. Anybody just tuning in? I am getting out of here a, couple, a little bit early. Uh, got preps for our stream theme reveal tomorrow. If you can, tune in at the start of the show tomorrow, where we'll be revealing a lot of special things going on in May for the channel. So I'm going to uh, get out of here a little bit early today to, to finish prep for it. Is this the one I wanted? Yeah, this is this is the one I wanted. Uh, this is where the treasure is over here. Let's do this one. Then we only have one treasure map uh, that we don't know, haven't actually gotten the treasure from. Oh wait, why can we go in here? I don't remember being able to go in here last time. Hmm. Hey, Herd of Derp, how you doing? Leo Sunclaw, hey, what's up? Haven't seen you in a bit. All right, let's check the map. Where did they say? Where did they say exactly it was? Goals. With the boat captain in the belly of the Hydra, the key was mine. I traveled to a new land, but my ship wrecked and sunk along with my precious key. It lies beneath, below the waves, perched on an underwater peak. Hey, Cuddly Shark, thanks for the bits. I guess it's right here. This is it. Lapter Alloy. Lightning infused metal used by the kin of Thor used to upgrade pommels with shock damage effects. Oh. And we got the boat captain's key treasure. A lot of hacks over. And some Aegir's gold. Alright. So. Oh, we can't zip line to these anchors. We did we have found zip lines that you can use. We can't get to that chest. Um, but these zip lines would actually literally take us nowhere. They would just take us to the anchor. Bex says, bye, Otter fam. I gotta head to school. I have midterms this week. Good luck with your midterms. Take care. Good luck. Hope you do awesome. I know you'll do awesome. All right, World Serpent. The next time we play God of War, we'll be uh taking our butt head here. Over to the World Serpent and talking to him. And maybe we'll even do the other dwarf side quest as well. Should be fun. So let me save this up before I forget. I'll put it into a new save game. And data. Alright, this is super fun. I don't want to say goodbye. I want to keep playing this forever. Can I play this forever? <laughs>